Good morning, the time is 9.46 a.m. The date 2-15-2015. about that? We have Amazon before us right now. Amazon had a big run. It had a big gap during this earnings season. And in the very short term, we are reaching these uh, overbought levels. Um, we're at a major top. The uh, people buying that dip and the short sellers that had to come out, here's what it looks like. So you can see that gap. And then we can we see clearly on this daily level that we just grinded higher and higher and higher. And what I'm going to say to people right now, here's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be taking these uh, Amazon put contracts that expire on this monthly level. So when we are taking a look at a um, mathematical deleveraging in the put side where obviously we are making all-time highs in the call contracts and there's a mathematical imbalance and we'll be talking about that. So we'll be buying put options there so you know this is those highs up here, major resistance levels. Let's go ahead and move this over and talk a little bit more about what the weekly looks like. This is a weekly movement from 300. Um, basically, we took out a wall of resistance right here. So I'm going to go to the tin rule. I'm going to clear all. And I'm going to park this thing right up there. Then I'm going to park this area where we had a good sell down last year but we kept hitting these bottoms here and it wouldn't go below it again um, we had some big rallies over here I'm going to draw a trend line on the high of this weekly bar right there and that's right over here and here goes another one this is where that first big reserve, uh, reversal happened on this weekly level we started off with another sell down to the lows where the earnings came out parabolically straight up one week the second week the third week and the fourth week um, we are overbought and we are coming down no matter what so the uh, put contracts that we're going to be using um, will pay because uh, we'll be looking at the 390 puts and whatnot. We hit that high on Friday of 383 was the high. They opened at 371 on Friday. And this is the week, weekly quotes. Um, so when we uh, had that 383 high, this weekly lows in here was 367. Um, the one that we're very interested in is on 118. Uh, Amazon was about to really go lower, 286. And then we started up on the uh, latter part of it when it had its earnings, 299, 350, and we have a 367. All these are lows that were there. So this is what Amazon looks like and we're going to go down I'm going to show the monthly chart as well here is a monthly chart on Amazon so I'm going to take this uh, half bar right here on the monthly level and where <coughs> we started downward alright I will be telling everybody that we are approaching this is a monthly the earning season we keep hitting these monthly bottoms where we had broke out before and we have come back down it's got one two three four major lows that have held this resistance on support level and it has I am going to draw a trend line right here we are going to be looking at this 385 put on this name so basically when we want to go over here and I'm going to also pull up a um, put chart. This is going to be the monthly calendar. So it's a monthly expiration. We're going to take a look at uh, the three. 
we're going to look at this uh, 3 AV. So we're just looking to see what kind of open interest they even have over here. And we'll find all this out. So here we go. There. There's the 15th. Now, let's go all the way up here. Let's go all the way up here. Here we go. We're going to get to the 380 put. And I'm going to throw these chart. This is called a put chart that people have never, you know, everybody trades options, but they don't have any way to to verify uh, why they're doing what they're doing. They don't have this. This is a put chart. And on 130, these puts were at $37. They've come all the way down here now to three dollars and sixty six cents was the low here and that is the 380 put this is totally deflated you want to learn how to be an options trader well you got to know where your um, uh, stats are going to be this is an all-time low on Friday 366 so that is the 380 put that we're looking at um, we can say too that the call side um, we'll take a look at a uh, this is a 370 call and once again this is a call chart this is what happens when they get bloated they come all the way back down here but you don't sell at these highs that was 1367 could have bought it back here at 580 and then right now we're hitting another high of 1416 and the open was nine dollars for these put contracts uh, versus uh, so you had these call contracts and those put contracts have got a mathematical what imbalance and so these are in the money on Amazon calls they have a 375 call that is at the highs you can see very clearly when they um, break from that high was 1055 and guess what this low was 385 and then of course they went higher and higher and they're all the way right back up here they can continue to go to higher but what's going to end up happening is the more imbalance they get on the monthly contract um, math wise that means that Amazon is overbought uh, the calls here on the 375 are, are bloated the last print was 381 let's just take a look at this uh, put side of the market right here once again this is the trade right here so we're gonna depending on what the gap up is that 380 put on Amazon comes into play the 380 call once again it hit a high they came back um, that's at that strike price that low was 353 and then the high was for our 665 so this is a 380 call and we showed the 380 put stay tuned for a major major uh, reversal once again here it is 365 on the low we will be trading this on Monday we've already talked about the stock a M Z and we know what we're doing and why we're doing it and on this daily level we are extremely overbought and Amazon is going down and it's going to have a good pullback it's overbought the put options they're going to pay this right here is going to pay these are the contracts that were marked down these are the strike prices right over here put to call in this column and we can see the imbalances here they gap this call up 325 the last was 1681 the low was 1387 and that was the high of the contract and that was your call side on the uh, Amazon 
I'm going to be looking at why I can trade that put option right here. That's a 380 put. And so minus from the net change was 46%. That's where we look at getting in on Monday, tomorrow morning. So how to buy put and calls on Amazon. 